the development plan in place right now. It's just going to take time to fulfil, hopefully, a nice, a nice future for us. I've got to keep driving the game forward and help those people who are in place as much as I can to do that. Motivation is to hopefully give the girls I affect as a coach a platform to have a career similar to what I've had, or better than what I've had. And if I can do that, and look back in 10 or 30 years time, I'll be extremely happy. Yes, I'm extremely happy to be given the role to take charge of the women's game back home. It's exciting, there's a lot of work to do, but it's going to be an interesting journey. We have a lot of caps within our squad. Uh, there's a lot of experience, but there's also a nice blend of youth in there too. And the fact that I lead the group is, is a strange feeling for me because, you know, I've sat here with those players as a teammate. The group they are now, compared to the group they were when I retired three or four years ago, it's a stronger group, it's a hungrier group, and it's a competitive group. I've ended up being a chartered physiotherapist, a full-time footballer and uh, now obviously national team manager. If I think back to when I was your age, which was a very long time ago, none of those things would have, would have felt imaginable. players now who are out there this afternoon become senior international players then I'll be a very happy old woman. <laughs>